He-Man, I love to cook. He-Man Chef, and today we're gonna do brown rice stir fry from scratch. Brown rice requires a three to one ratio, that's three cups of water to one cup of brown rice. You can use any size cup, as long as it's a three to one ratio. I have to get it hung up on a measuring cup. Use a teacup or use a glass, whatever, but three to one ratio. So I've got my rice, it's one cup. I've already put three cups of water in the pot and I'm waiting for it to boil. Instructions generally say boil your rice for 45 minutes. However, if you want a firmer rice, for instance in a stir fry you want a firmer rice, boil it for 30 minutes and see what it tastes like. If you have to add an extra five minutes, fine. Take it off the stove and let it sit for five or ten minutes, let it cool down a bit. Add a little bit of salt to the water and you've got your brown rice ready for stir fry. So the once the water was boiling, we added the rice, the one cup of rice to three cups of water. It's boiling, but we lowered it down to a simmer, not a full boil, and we'll look at it in 30 minutes. Basic ingredients, as you see the brown rice, we use Himalayan salt, organic cabbage if we can, organic carrots, organic onions, Hecama, if you can find Hecama organic, and some, we already have some chicken from the night before, fried chicken, of course. This is organic garlic, some of the best. And for spices, we use soy sauce, low salt. We use ginger and pepper, and that's kind of it. Flavor it, but let's wait till we finish boiling the rice, and then we'll start slicing and chopping stuff. Part of the joy of making stir-fry is texture. And I love to have carrots julienne, not just sliced and diced. I julienne the carrots. I'll dice the jicama, but I'll julienne the carrots. So it's important you know how to do that. Watch your fingers. Cut them. You put a flat spot. And now they're julienne. And you're getting great surface and flavor and texture. Food is about color, smell, flavor, and texture. So you just continue to the rest of this. You take one of the carrots, slice it in half carefully using your trusty cleaver, and then you can julienne them, and you can rotate it and make them even thinner if you want. So one of the keys to making stir-fry is the oil. Normally if you throw garlic in oil and leave it during the whole cooking process, the garlic will burn. So what I do is I chop the garlic in big chunks, not fine chunks, just slivers, and put it in the oil, let it brown almost to black, let it brown, and then pull all the garlic out. And that infuses the oil with a garlic flavor without burning the garlic. I have a second group of garlic that I cook with everything else, throw it in the rice, in with the vegetables, and lightly brown it, just lightly, and stir fry it. That way you don't burn the extra garlic, but at least the oil, and I use olive oil, virgin olive oil, has a garlic infused, infused flavor. It's absolutely spectacular. So the oil is going in the pan, lots and lots and lots of oil. I also, for flavor, like to add some sesame oil along with olive oil. And we've got some sesame oil right here, which I'm gonna to add to it. The uh, sesame oil, and I add liberal amounts to it. it. Gives it a really good flavor. And now I'm gonna add the garlic. As you can see I'm using my trusty cleaver to move the garlic, and it goes into the oil. We'll quick fry that garlic, stirring it around, and letting it brown, and right at the point where she's almost turning black, We'll pull it out real quick, and that oil will be infused with garlic. The garlic is getting very brown, almost black. It's just about time to pull it out, so pull it off the heat, and use a spatula like this to pull it out. So here's the uh, brown garlic that I removed. It, it is toasted garlic at this point, and I save it. I add it to the rice at the very end of cooking. It has an incredible crispy garlicky flavor that you normally can't get using anything else. So I put in the uh, jicama first, and the reason is it absorbs all the garlic flavor. It's a sponge for flavor. It absorbs flavor whatever you're cooking. Uh, you almost can't overcook it, and it's just so good and crunchy at this point. So it's going first, followed by the carrots. There's the jicama cooking away, followed by the carrots. They're next. Cook, guys, cook, cook, cook. Cabbage second to last, and onions last. Onions cook very quickly. Uh, you want to burn them, so they'll go in last. You want a very high heat on the stove, because you're stir-frying, 
and moving the vegetables constantly. When everything's finely cooked, you throw in the chicken, which is already cooked. So you're basically just warming the chicken and it's hand shredded. And when that's all stir fried and really good, add the brown rice. This is personal preference, but you can use fresh ginger. I don't have any today, so I'm using pre-made ginger. And I like to add just a little bit. It gives it a real interesting snappy flavor. You don't want to overpower it. So just add the cabbage, stir that in with everything else, and let the oil do its thing. And you don't want to overcook the cabbage, but cooked cabbage is one of the ultimate delights in culinary pleasures. I love cooked cabbage with lots of garlic. Oh my. Now for the onions. Yeah, get in there. Great, we got the onions in there now. And it's looking like a great dish. I mean, even without the rice, I would eat this dish the way it is. And always use your own discretion. I'm adding more oil because I can tell that we've, the ingredients have absorbed all the oil already. So I've added more olive oil. Add some garlic. This time we're going to add the uh, dried chopped garlic. It tastes almost the same as fresh garlic in my palate. And it's very easy to manage, so lots of it's going on. And finally the chicken. This is hand pulled and ready to go. Dump it right in. A little pepper and now the final ingredient is soy. And you want some good old-fashioned soy in here. This is low salt, so it just tastes real good. So we're stir stirring it. It looks really, really good. Okay, so we're putting the rice in. Dump it in. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Baby, oh baby. <laughs> That's it. And stir it up and make it a stir fry. Listen to that joyous sound. It loves us. It's saying, howdy world. You just birthed a stir fry and we're glad to be here. Come eat me. Secret ingredient is coconut sugar. We do about a tablespoon of coconut sugar. The flavor, ah, really pops. We always add eggs to a stir fry. It binds it. I didn't have an original ingredient plate, but here they are. So you take two raw eggs and you blast them in there. Uh, boom. Boom! And then you smash them up and you let them cook and infuse everything with this eggy goodness and it adds little filaments of egg flavor all through it. Mmm! Ah. Hey, the egg disappears and becomes one with rice. You want to become a one with rice? Hey man, chef, become one with rice. But what we have left over is the toasted garlic. We're going to put that on top because the rice is ready to eat. Look at that. Dump it in there and stir it up and add that toasted garlic to it. You're not going to want anything else but this rice. Hey man, rice. Here it is. All the efforts come down to this. Eat this rice. Mm, it looks incredible. I just... This is a whole meal. Mm, mm. Oh, just a hint of ginger, lots of garlic, some soy, that crispy, chunky garlic at the end with the onions and fusion and the crunch of the agama. Oh my God, I'm in love with my rice. Hey man, chef, enjoy. Arr, woo, arr. He man, chef.